Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to use the power copy. Power copy is nothing but if we have created the future and if you want to use the same future in your part in different position. So in that scenario we can go for power copy. Whenever you are creating power copy, you need to create with point access system or line so that it can control your sketch. So while you are using the future with power copy, it will create one more set of the operations we have done with respect to the reference point line sketch so you can uh, edit it individually if it required in future so first I have created one small snap profile snap will using for the plastic part so already I have done this power copy I'll do it once again. So, for power copy, you need to go here knowledge template power copy. Then click which feature you need to do the power copy operation. So, I'm going to do this body. So, I have selected. So for this one, it is asking for input. So I have done this pad need to do the power copy. My input should be if I click here, if I see previously, I'll do it once again. So knowledge template power copy. So I want to do the or copy operation for this particular pad feature so I have clicked this one so this pad is dependent on this sketch so if you create one more sketch then only in this scenario your pad will, up, will insert but I want to just click on this one so it will show what are the things it require it is created with parent so I am also going to use this point and access system. Here, what are the features you need to add into your power cup? If I click here, it will go. If I click this one, so I want to keep both the pad and the sketch so that I can edit my sketch individually. So here you can give naming. So that one. So input is nothing but what are the inputs while if you are inserting the power copy it will ask point and access system you need to create parameters by default it will take all these parameter if you want you can change it but it is not required documents we don't have any on documents like it will it will create by using the spreadsheet properties nothing but this icon for the power copy I'm just I'm going to create one I'm going to use this so if you see here snap one it is created so just I'm going to use the same operation in different location so already I have created an access system one point because this is my input for my features. So next insert and initiate from the selection. So I'm going to click this one or this one. So I'm having two power copies. So the snap one I'm going to click. So once I click. Mm -hmm. 
it is asking for axis system so i need to select zx and point so we can select there or we can select in our view okay what are the operations we have given to be done so here it is created so if i want i can change this sketch independently it don't affect my previous future like this we need to use the initiate from selection option let's see what are the next options initiate from document initiate from document is nothing but you can create your own catalog so that you can pull the part from anywhere so in this scenario just i'm going to save this part so i'm just i'm saving this part to my destination and i'm going to use this snap in my so i'm just what are the my input is like nothing but one is point and another one is axis system so this orientation you need to give properly according to your part how your snap need to fix so you are going to give input as z y plane so how you want the orientation you need to give here it's in. insert in sheet from the document so already i can save this power copy to so before that we need to close the because if it is open maybe it will update so now if you see it is asking for access stuff and input so i have given input as see explain i need to click and then point i need to click. so my snap feature got created here with the pad and sketch next we will see the user feature user feature is nothing but same as power copy you can select the features which is required so i want to create these features these two features
I'll give it one second. Set. So I have to define it here. Previously it is defined there. So here also I am going to give input as my access step on the origin. So this one is nothing but input. Meta inputs nothing but we need to give the instructions. Here already defaultly whatever the input we have given is taken parameters nothing but here you can update the this documents it is like same as power copy here also you can create one output is nothing but what are the selected futures external view so this one template definition so that we can keep as default. So my user feature got selected. So this is related to future. So I need to insert one body. Next again, we need to. instance from selection feature 2 so here it is asking for access system and origin so once I give it is created with the user feature so that you can but this one is purely dependent on your existing future if you change here by default it will get updated similar like user pattern same way you can save it in document and you can pull it how we can use it in power copy document template so we can save it as a template and you can pull it later And also you can save in catalog so for this one you need to define your catalog so that you can save this one as a catalog so thanks for watching this video I hope it is clear if you have any doubt just comment in the comment box